Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel and today in this video I am going to discuss about the calculation of orthwork quantities using average end area method. So here you can see we have a question orthwork quantities for a section of roadway indicate a transition from field to court means the given section of the road at station 20 plus 10.5 and station 20 plus 21.50 there is transition from fill to cot that is what the question is saying like you will find some transition in the in the given between some station second the following areas are scaled from the print cross section where there are transition between cot and fill the cot and fill roadway cross section are both triangular in shape so where there is a transition between cot and fill it is taking the shape of triangle so how we are going to find the cot and fill volume in this section we are asked to find so here we will be calculating the cot and fill volume in the given uh, at the different stations we are asked to find the cot and fill volume so without any further delay let's get started So let's create two more column for uh, cot area, cot volume and fill volume. So I am going to write here cot volume. So volume unit is cubic feet. Similarly, I am going to draw another column which will be for fill volume. So I will write here fill volume. What is unit is again cubic feet and let us discuss a little bit about the average end area method so if we see the top like the top view of the six stations so we have station 20 plus 00, 00 here second one is 20 plus 10.50 third one is 20 plus 21.50 similarly there are other stations too which is proceeding from left to right so what happens here suppose this one is 20 plus 00, 00 means the distance between the station a to b is 10.5 feet this is what the portion which is written behind the plus or with the station indicates similarly from b to c from b to c the distance is going to be this distance is how much is this distance so this distance is 21.50 minus 10.50 means 11 feet this one is 11 feet similarly from c to d and station d is station d is 20 plus 28.45 and d to e d to e is 20 plus 40 so the distance from d to c is going to be this distance is going going to be 28.45 minus 21.50 so we will do similar simple calculation subtraction here 20 28.45 minus 21.50 and we get 6.95 feet so we have here 6.95 feet similarly for station d and e for station d and e we will have here 40 minus 28.45 so we will get 11.55 this distance is 11. 5 5 next so 
as we have got the distances between each station and you have also understood like how we will calculate the distance we are going to need the distance between the station while calculating the volume that's why i have uh, shown you how how the stations are placed at different locations so the last portion which is behind the station marking is the is giving us the distance between the stations second thing we have cut and fill areas given these are the areas now we will calculate the volume and the the formula which we are using is uh, average end area method so so uh, fill area basically means we have to fill that portion of the soil so we suppose this is hollow at present and we have to bring put some soil here so that it will be filled and suppose this is our station 20 plus 00, 0 and this is our station 20 plus 10 point five so we are provided with the very well area value that is here it is eighteen five zero point six three square feet of area is required similarly here four seven three point seven seven square feet of area is required then we are asked to find the volume so how we can find by average in area method we will take the average between these two stations means what we will do we will do a1 plus a2 divide by 2 first thing we will take average of the area that is whether it is cut or fill provided we will take average of those area then we will multiply it with the span between the distance between those two stations to get the volume this gives us volume of cut or fill so coming toward our question we have station 20 plus 20 Zero, 00 and 20 plus 10.50 so in both the station we can see that we have to do the fillings here cut is zero so cut volume uh, on subtracting these two we will get nothing so cut volume is zero there is no need of cut but we have to do the filling there so how we can do this we have to add this area and this area divide by two so uh, let me use the calculator so we have uh, 1850.63 plus 473.77 divide by 2 so we get 1162.2 1162.2 and we have already calculated the span distance between the station A and B that is 10.5 so we will multiply the average area with the distance between the station so on doing that we will multiply it with 10.5 so we will get fill volume equals to 1203.1 this is the fill volume required between the station a and b or we can say 20 plus 00, 00 and 20 plus 10.50 now we will move toward the next step again we can see that station between station 20 plus 10.50 and 20 plus 21.50 there is transition between fill to cut so let us leave it for a second we will consider let uh, take into consideration of this fill volume first so let's calculate the fill volume required between these two station so again we will proceed thus in the same manner we will add these two area we will add 437473.77 and 105.77 together so on doing that we will have 473.77 plus 105.77 and divide by 2 this is our area and distance between these two station is between b and c we have 11 feet we have 11 feet so we will multiply this by 11 so on multiplying we get 3187.47 so we will write here 3187.47 this is our cubic feet of volume now what will happen see here we have transition between here we have transition between cut and fill so here we will see a little bit variation in the formula the formula becomes a upon 3 
times L. Why so? Because here we have here it is getting transition. So what happens here between we have a station twenty plus ten and this what happens here we uh, we have filling at uh, station uh, here we have fill at this station and cut at this station so what happens doing while well, do, doing earthwork between these two station at some point at some point the cut and fill becomes zero here the fill here it is fill so he, between these two station fill becomes zero we don't know before reaching this station the fill becomes zero that's why we apply this formula a upon 3 a upon 3 times l so what we will do here we will simply uh, one divide divide 187.14 divide by 3 and multiply it with the span between tw station 20 plus 10.50 and 20 plus 21.50 that is 11 so let us do this calculation we have here 187.14 times 11 divided by 3 so we will get 686.18 we will get 686.18 686.18 next you can see here here nothing means we can cross this out and we will need to calculate further so we have here cut area so we will calculate the cut area again we have these two so 187.14 plus 675.96 divide by 2 and multiply by the distance so we know that distance between c and d c and d is 6.95 so we will multiply this by 6.95 so we will get 2 triple nine point two seven again you can see here it is nothing and there is getting transition between cut and fill here nothing so cut and fill is getting transition here so again we will need to calculate one more value that is 100 we will do 105.77 divide by 3 times span is again 6.95 oh i did mistake oh no 6.95 so we will get 245.03 now we have here 675.93 0.96 plus 2020.37 divide by 2 times multiply it with the span so 40 and 28 11.55 we get 15571.30 come to where we end of the numerical so we will find the simply we can simply find the total volume and total fill area i will simply write total and on adding all these volume of the cut column volume cut column and adding all the volume of the fill column we will get a total cut and total fill volume that is going to be our one nine two five six point seven five cubic feet and here we will have one five six three five point six cubic feet i hope you guys find this video helpful if this video was helpful to you then do share this video with your friend see you in the next video there are some other method of finding the earthwork quantities which is simsum one by three rule trapezoidal rule so we will discuss about that in the upcoming videos Till then stay connected with civil learning online and do like and share this video. See you in the next video.